Possibly the greatest boxer you've never heard of and the victim of a racist society which prevented him from taking his rightful shot at the title. Len Johnson's extraordinary life story is contained in these boxes housed in the Working Class Movement Library in Salford. This is the Len Johnson archive. Yeah, so these are four boxes of material about his boxing life, about his political life. That uh, Historian read. Michael Herbert used the material to piece together Len's history for his book on the Manchester boxer. I thought there was a really intriguing story here and I wanted to know more. I spent a long time researching in dusty archives and long forgotten newspapers to, to excavate his story. <laughs> Born and bred in Moss Side in Manchester, Len Johnson began boxing at fairgrounds in the 1920s and it wasn't long before he turned professional. But whilst the white boxing establishment allowed mixed race bouts, they drew the line at title fights and Len was never allowed to box for a trophy. This is the justification for not letting Len fight for the title. The British Empire and other empires around the world rested on the idea, the sort of racist ideology, that white races were superior to black races because that's why they had the empire. A black man winning the title could lose them the empire. The British Empire could crumble. A contest between black men and white men was seen as dangerous. For no coloured man will ever be champion of Britain. Never, 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 never. These scenes are from Len Johnson Fighter, a play about the boxer running in this year's Greater Manchester Fringe Festival. Because of the colour of my skin, I will never be allowed to fight for a Lonsdale belt. He fought against all forms of discrimination, so that, that was my inspiration. I just think the story, I want people to go away knowing who Len Johnson is and wanting to find out more. Disillusioned with boxing, Len turned to politics, campaigning against racism and intolerance. He met the likes of the American civil rights activist and singer Paul Robeson and stood as a member of the Communist Party in his home of Moss Side. He died in 1969, old enough to have seen a black boxer finally win a title. Tim Scott, ITV News, Manchester.